Hey guys, what's up? Trail Monkey here, and I'm bringing you guys another tutorial today. And this tutorial will be on how to use Magic Bullet Looks and apply CCs and import CCs. And before I start this tutorial, uh, this tutorial was um, requested by a person in the comments on one of my previous tutorials. So if you guys have any um, like effects that you want me to cover, just put it inside of uh, like the comments on one of my videos, and I will definitely check it. I might not check it in the same day, but I will check it, and I will try to make a tutorial on it. So yeah, and this CC right here was a CC that I just made like a couple minutes ago for a tutorial and if I like take off the effects you'll see that it looks like that but when I put it back on it looks like this so that's pretty cool so let me get into this tutorial and I'll quickly show you guys how to use the stuff to make it so it's gonna load up so yeah, this is what I use to make it. And also you have a bunch of presets here too, if you don't know, like that you can import. Like I have some from Fritz, another guy, um, Meek, and yeah, but we're gonna be making our own CC. So let me just delete these off first. Spot explosion. Uh, dun -dun. Okay, so let's start off by adding something that I think is kind of generic like it's pretty cool or whatever um and that's called diffusion if I can find it yeah diffusion just need to find the right one could 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 no I just go with one of these ones I don't care diffusion there we go okay here we go diffusion so uh, this kind of is like exposure and crush by itself, but this it makes it look better. So let's start off by adding some exposure right here. If you bring it up, the exposure obviously goes up, and exposure is like when it lights up a place, like all the light spots inside of a clip. So we can also turn up the size for like when we put colors. Like I'm put it like a bluish color kind of, cause terminal look, terminal looks kind of blue. Or teal can even be good too. That looks kind of better. Turn it down a little. Yep. You could put highlights if you want, but I don't really want to. So once we're done that, we can open up that like another effect. So I'm gonna put on some vinaigrette. Sounds kind of French when I say that, but whatever. Sorry to French people if I'm being. I guess I don't know. Races, not I don't know, not trying to, but yeah. So you can also adjust the ra um the radius on where you want the blur to come out, cause vinaigrette is basically basically a like a blurring effect, and the more you bring it in, the more it's gonna blur around there. If you bring it out, it's just gonna blur out the edges. I kind of liked having the edges blurred, so you can still see the CC. It's just not like it's not like body checked by vinaigrette and stuff. And you can also turn up the colors. I won't want like maybe, you know, cause a blue one. And you can also turn them up right here. Can't really see it, but yeah. So now I'm gonna add some, maybe some, I guess, spot exposure. With that. And spot exposure is just like it's kind of in the name. It's exposure, but inside of certain spots, you can adjust where you want it to be uh, I'm just gonna move this up a little bit maybe I can um, make it blue I'm not gonna leave it there though because uh, you know it's terminal you don't really need to have spot exposure I'm just showing you guys how you can use it and once you make the radius bigger um, it can cover like a whole screen or whatever but we're not gonna use a spot exposure because in a map like terminal or right here um, like in this clip there is no sky so it's not needed you can also put curves on this curves can make it like darker if you want to make it lighter bring the curves up if you also want to make it darker bring it down and the lines represent like basically like a line across from here to here 
So if I do the middle, it's going to affect like the middle of the screen. See, it goes down and up. I'm leave it up. And you can also make it kind of reddish too. If you apply like the middle to be like kind of red, like you bring up the redness in it. You can also bring it down. You can also, I don't really want green, but so I'll go to blue. Because blue just seems to be the color for this map. You can also bring it down a little. And this makes it look really nice. And yeah, and this is basically just a simple CC. You can also add a. Uh, uh, it's kind of again. You can also add. Um, I'm trying to think of what the effect's called. Uh, so it's a flare. Yeah, it's flare or whatever. If they can find it. I always get lost in this. But yeah, the flare. And once you put it on, it's going to be like all electric y. And if you want to bring it down, just, you know, you can bring it down. And, yep. And you can make it, like, I guess, reflect or whatever. And, yeah, but we're not going to do that for this one. So, this is basically a simple CC. Uh, it's not the greatest one, but it's okay. So, once you're done, you can also, if you want to save this CC, you go to export. And it's going to load up a screen for you to save. And what you can do now, you can either save it into a folder that you want to like just keep the CC, or if you want to put the CC directly inside of your Magic Bullet Looks, you go to your program files. I have mine in program files times 86. And then you're going to look for a file called Looks Builder. You're going to go into the folder called Looks, and then this is where you put it. I have a folder that are my, my CCs, so yeah. It's, I'm gonna name this one Tutorial CC. And just hit save. And it will save it in there. Yeah, I wanna save it in there. Yeah. And once you are done, uh, you'll have a CC, and then what you have to close it out for it to load. And when you're done, just hit finish. And will apply to your clip. And should be coming soon. And there you go. And I advise to put your um, CCs kind of towards the end of your edit. Because it's kind of hard to move when there's other effects on there. Like it just takes long and stuff. So yeah. So that's basically how you make CCs. Um, if you like, if you don't have any other CCs I'm gonna put three CCs in the description for you guys to download so just to start you guys off so I'll put three CCs in the description that you guys can download off media fire and you guys can use on your edits so yeah so um I might have another tutorial up today this clip was from AJ for the it's called again the dualtage I'm making for him and another guy named Nikki so yeah so um if you guys like like just stay tuned to my channel and you'll see that video come up soon maybe today so yeah so um that's been show monkey uh another tutorial and i'll see you guys later bye